Hello everyone, in today's video, we will be seeing this question from the year 2020 physics optional paper 1. So in this question, we will talk about zone plate and its theoretical description and we will show that a zone plate has multiple foci and we have to differentiate between a zone plate and a convex lens and there's a numerical. So let's start. So before starting with the zone plate, we will do a brief discussion about a half period zones. So what is a half period zone? So ABCD is a plane wave front perpendicular to the plane of the screen and P is the external point at a distance of B. So here we will be dividing the wave front into number of half period zones. Let's see how we are going to do this. If we take P as our center and we draw concentric spheres of radius B plus lambda by 2, B plus twice of lambda by 2 and, and so on, so we will get the circular cutouts. So they will cut out the circular area of radii OM1, OM2 and OM3 respectively. So these circular zones are known as half period zones. So so now we can find the radius. So radius for the first half period zone that is OM1 is given by using the Pythagoras theorem. So it's PM1 whole square minus PO whole square. So this will be the PM1 is B plus lambda by 2 the whole square minus B square. So after solving this we will get B square plus lambda square by 4 and this is B lambda minus B square. So we will cancel this B square and we will neglect this lambda square by 4. So we are left with OM1 is equal to B lambda. Similarly, OM2 will become, you can find out this will be twice of B lambda and similarly for OM3 that is root of 3 B lambda. So we can write the generalized radius that is going to be valid for all the Fresnel zones. So the radius of nth Fresnel zones is given by root of N B lambda. So let's move towards taking one more concept related to half period zones. There is a vibration and the vibrational amplitude of the respective half period zones be M1, M2 and M3. So this is the diagram due to the first Fresnel zone. This is the M1 amplitude as we go to M2 because of the part difference of lambda by 2 there is a phase difference of 5 and displacement is in the opposite direction. Similarly for other amplitudes as we move outwards from O the obliquity increases and the amplitude decreases. So for any Fresnel zone the amplitude can be written as the mean of the preceding and the succeeding ones for like M2. So M1 and M3 are the preceding and succeeding amplitudes. So we can take the mean of the two and find out the M2 amplitude. If N is odd, let's say the number of Fresnel zones are odd. So we can write the net amplitude to be M1 minus M2 because the displacement is in the opposite direction for the M2 and similarly M3 and so on till Mn. So we can write M1 as M1 over 2 plus M1 over 2 minus M2 and this is M3 over 2. So we just have bifurcated the M1 into halves and similarly for M3 and this is minus M4. This is M5 by 2 and so on and we are left with Mn by 2. So these whole terms will cancel because M2 is M1 plus M3 over 2 and similarly the M4 term. All the mid terms will cancel out and we are left with only these two terms. So this is the net amplitude if our n is odd. Now if n is even let's say n is 4. So our net amplitude will be M1 minus M2 plus M3 minus M4. And we can write in the same form M1 over 2 plus M1 over 2 minus M2 plus M3 over 2. And this is M3 over 2 and minus M4. So this will cancel and our net amplitude will be M1 over 2 plus M3 over 2 minus M4. So we can generalize this for n number of Fresnel zones. If n is even then this will be M1 over 2 plus if our n is 4 so n minus 1 is 3 and this is mn so is the generalized amplitude if n is even this is a brief explanation about the half period zones now let's get back to our question before moving on i want to share with you that the mechanics handouts are available now you can buy it from the link given in the description box so zone plates are the specially constructed screen such that the light is obstructed from every alternate zone so from the figure you can see that second zone and then fourth zone so all the even zones are obstructed here and we know the distance of m1 
P is B plus lambda by 2, M2 P is B2 lambda by 2 and this M3 P B, B plus 3 lambda by 2. So now we know this Rn, the radius of nth fresnel zone is given by NB lambda and here we can write this as Rn whole square over N lambda is equal to B and B is a focal length because all the rays are converging at B. So we can take this B as a focal length. So our focal length, this is Fn, which is equivalent to B is Rn square over N lambda. So the focal length depends on wavelength. So if we obstruct the even zones, then our amplitude will be M1 plus M3 plus M5. So all the negative displacements will be gone away. So at P, the intensity is much greater than when the whole wavefront is exposed because all the negative terms are out now. So if the white light is incident on the zone plate, so different colors have different wavelengths or different colors have different focus. So different colors comes to focus at different points along OP. So thus we can say that zone plate is functioning similar to convex lens but it is not exactly same so let's see the comparison so in zone plate we have different focal length for different wavelengths but this is not the case for convex lens it has one focal length for all the wavelengths and similarly the second point waves reaching through any two alternate zones in zone plate differ by lambda because we have obstructed the even zones so two odd zones have a part difference of lambda and the phase difference of 2 pi now in convex lens there is no phase difference and so the third point, moon plate works on the principle of diffraction and uh, the convex lens as you all know works on the principle of refraction of light. Fourth point that is the most common, so because of the multiple foci we have less intensity and in convex lens due to single focus we have more intensity. So this is the basic difference between the zone plate and the convex lens. So let's see the numerical. So here we have to calculate the radius of the first half period zone in a zone plate behaving like a convex lens of a focal length 60 cm for light of wavelength 6000 Armstrong. We will going to be use this expression and we are given the lambda and the, the focal length of the convex lens. So we can take this focal length as a B. So let's put the values in this expression. So the focal length will be for the first half period zone. So our N is 1. So this is 60 into 10 raised to power minus 2 meter. This is a focal length. We have to calculate this R1 square and this is N is 1. Lambda is 6000 into 10 raised to power minus 10 meter. So this will be 36 into 10 raised to power minus 8 so our r1 comes out to be 6 into 10 raised to power minus 4 meter so this is the radius of the first half period zone so this is the solution for this question if you have any doubts related to any of the paths you can write me in the comment box and if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching this video